What's good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, and welcome to a brand new Found Footage Friday. And in this in this week's episode of Found Footage Friday, we're going to dive into the mind of George Romero, and we're going to dive into Diary of the Dead. So, as always, Horror Horde, let's get it. right guys diary of the dead so basically what diary of the dead is is a found footage zombie movie and it's by our boy george romero let me tell you something this movie is on point this is one of those better found footage movies and it's fun so basically it starts off you know these college film students are making a film a movie during the zombie apocalypse. Well, the, not during, but as they're filming, the zombie apocalypse starts. And so now they want to keep a daily record of what's happening in their lives since the zombie apocalypse broke out and all hell broke loose. And it's just one thing after another. You know, they meet military. Military turns out to be fucking a bunch of just assholes. Um, they meet up with this Amish guy. He seemed pretty cool, but you care for him. And then, you know, they maniacally take out the people you care for. And then finally, they make it to like this mansion of one of their friends. And, you know, they hold up in there for a while. But then, you know, like with every good zombie movie, it doesn't last. And that's the thing about this movie. It's it's a new take on the zombie genre. I actually sat back and I watched it again for the first time in a long time. And the whole time I was watching it, I felt uneasy. I felt unsafe. Like, it was one of those movies where you felt like you were with these people. And you felt like their... How do I say this? You felt their situation. And you felt the dire need that they had. Um, A couple of the characters you get real close to. But then a couple of the characters are, like, really annoying. Like, I'm sorry, but the guy who's, like, filming everything, he... Towards, like, the middle of the movie... He gets very annoying. He gets, like, you just like, dude, really? Like, you should be more worried about surviving than you are filming at this point. All he wants to do is grab the camera and film. Grab the camera and film, you know what I mean? Like, fuck you, I'm going to grab the camera and film. And this also has um, a couple, you know, good cameo appearances in it. This has uh, Sean Roberts in it, which, if you don't know who Sean Roberts is, he plays Albert Wesker in Resident Evil, so it was fun seeing him in a different take, and um, he was good in it, and um, the hospital scene straight up reminded me of The Walking Dead. Like, it was so well done. Like, everything about this was well done. This was an actual, like, this is a gem because like it didn't come to theaters. It was released on the Dimension Extreme um, uh, platform. And it was basically what Dimension Extreme is. Dimension Extreme was their straight to Blu-ray or DVD um, platform. Which it was it was good, but they did I guess they didn't feel like it was good enough to come to theaters. But in my opinion, this one actually probably could have came to theaters and made a lot of money. Like, it was a fun movie, and like I said, it was it was you know it was directed by George Romero. This is one of George Romero's last masterpieces before he passed away, and it was so well done. It was it it, it was everything a George Romero zombie movie is. It's the slow zombies. It's the build up. It's the tension. It's the terror, and it's in first person. That's the best part. It's in first person camera view. And it, like I said at the beginning, it, it, you feel it. You feel the, the dire need. You feel the tension. And you just feel like you're with these people on this, on this fucking crazy ride through the zombie apocalypse. Um, I definitely recommend you check this one out. This is actually a real fun one. You can probably find it on Amazon for 
10 bucks or so. Um, it's one of those ones, like I said, it's straight to, straight to DVD, straight to Blu-ray. Um, and it, uh, um, it was definitely a good, it was a good time. It was a good ride. Uh, there's the, uh, the actual Blu-ray itself. Um, this was right before the time that digital was big. So you didn't, there's no digital copy of it, but there's the disc. Um, definitely no, there's no artwork on the back here, but it's definitely a fun film. It's, it's, it's a, it's a George Romero masterpiece. It's, it's one of his best ones. It's one of his last ones. So if you're a George Romero fan, I definitely recommend you check this out. Um, 150% horror gamer approved so with all that being said horror horde i really hope you enjoyed this week's found footage friday glad to be bringing it back i know i took a couple week hiatus um like i said right now i'm doing things where i'm kind of taking a step back from uploading every day um just because i want to give you better content and not just more content um so i've been kind of taking a step back and doing every couple days or whatever or every other day but uh I hope you guys are enjoying the content I am putting out. I'm, I'm working really hard to make it better. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, all right, Horror Horde. With all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you guys. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. That way, every time your boy Horror Gamer throws up one of these found footage Fridays, you're in the know. Also, when you're done doing that, head on over to the official Horror Gamer Patreon and see what kind of cool perks you get with just being a patron. I have two tiers. I have the dollar tier and I have the five dollar tier. And you just go over there and check out what you get with each tier. We have our Saturday night get togethers where we watch horror movies, talk horror movies, have a good time, connect, bring the community together. Um, and yeah, so that's a great time. Also, after you're done checking out all that, head on over to the Z Network and see what kind of cool stuff we got going on out there. Bunch of us creators got together and threw our recipes in this big pot and just created something special for everybody. You know, it's it's a place where everybody can go with different tastes, whatever you like. There's something there for everybody. So definitely check it out. And conveniently enough, the links for both of those are going to be in the description box below. So definitely go check those out, guys. But all right, Horror Horde, with all that being said, I love you guys. Thank you, guys. Until next time, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying, as always... Don't fear the darkness. Embrace it.